Well, as I keep picking away with my manure spreader here, it's got a couple of cross rods. It goes kitty quarter, cattywampus, it's supposed to keep this thing square. So hopefully I can get them put in. As I measure it right now, I'm within an eighth of an inch as I measure corner to corner. And I know I've used that term in the past, kitty corner. Some of you say it's catty corner and whatever. You know what I'm doing anyway. I'm going to see if I can't get these put in. They have to go underneath these two frames, and then I've got holes drilled in opposite corners. See how it goes. Seems like the first one should be the easy one. I think I need to swap this rod 180. This cross beam is thicker than the front one. And I guess this rod is made accordingly. That's a little more better. Well, I had a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Looks like this side I got right. And slipped right in. You know, one of the sales pitches on these spreaders was concerning these two cross rods, how they guarantee that this whole body remains square. And it also creates a bridge work underneath these two center cross beams, and you can really tighten those right up. So I'll double check my measurements. Do we have? Like one twenty five and three eighths. One twenty five and one eighth. So I actually need to tighten that one up and release this one just a bit. One twenty-five and a quarter. One twenty-five and a quarter. So we've seen how there's rollers that go down each side held in with leg bolts. But there's also a set of rollers that goes down right through the middle. Kind of like so. And there's three that go between each of these frameworks. And they should all be the same height as these rollers on the side. I haven't taken these apart yet because I wanted to get to, to this point and make sure I have everything correct. And it looks like I do. Rollers are going to set in about like so. And then there's one that goes to the rear. It sits on that back brace, about like so. Now these are all broken into three sections, but they should be one continuous piece with these rollers pinned in between. So they're gonna sit about like so, but continual. So where they cross the front and rear cross frame, they are notched over. This is the one for the front, the one in the back is a little wider is because the cross frame is a little wider, but this one should overhang just as much as it does in the front. So somewhere in the deterioration, there should be another roller right here. So I'm missing one roller. 
So if I hang over the front three inches, I should also hang over the rear three inches. To figure my overall length here, I am 106 plus another six inches. I need to be 112, don't I? These are two and a half inches deep. It could be about an inch and an eighth. A little tough to tell. At least an inch and an eighth. It could possibly be an inch and a quarter. And these all seem to be suspended on about a three-eighths pin that's driven through. And every once in a while, there seems to be a little spacer in there that helps hold that consistent width. Here's another spacer, the remnant of it on the rear one. And this rear one is actually in a little better shape. It measures closer to that inch and a quarter. So I'm gonna make these two and a half by inch and a quarter by 112 inches. Well, as I was moving these center rollers around, I see I dropped one out of there. So there's my missing roller. So as I work with this, I'm kind of learning as I go as well. I had this old one that showed me that this was about three inches. So this one was pretty good. I can put three inches here. But from this front cross frame to this bar that holds the cogs for the front of this apron, we're at about four and a half to four and five eighths distance between the two. When I go from this back cross bar to the bar that holds the cogs for the back side, I'm only at three and a quarter. So I'm not gonna want to have this probably at three. I, I made it two and a half. I may even cut it down to perhaps two inches just to make sure we have enough clearance as this apron makes this corner around these cogs here.
Well, there's 24 rollers that go down this center section, and then there's 25 on each side. So there's another 50 there, 50 and 24. There's 74 rollers that just carry this apron as it goes back toward the beater. Then underneath, there's some rollers that carry it forward, three sets of three, so there's nine more. There's a lot of rollers involved in this live apron as it operates. Kind of fun to see it come together. Appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching.